I lost 50 pounds and it only took me four years. Why am I telling you this? Um, I don't know. I just felt like I needed to share. In the summer of 2019, I made Adam Savage's book into a hammer. Adam got wind of that, mostly through you guys sharing that video with him. Uh, and I was invited to go down to Tested and give it to him personally. And that, that is one of the top moments of my YouTube experience. It was so much fun to meet Adam, to meet the Tested team, to just be down there to make a video. Um, it, was, it was super fun, I enjoyed it. My friends started to share that on social media and be like, I knew him when, pop up over and over again. It was a huge wake up call for me. I hit uh, 285 pounds, which um, is the heaviest I've ever been. And I, yeah, I, the way I was filming myself, the way I was showing myself on my channel, I would try to hide that, you know, try to hide the weight. And when I went on tested, they didn't think about it. They were like, oh, this is Peter. We just met Peter. This is what Peter looks like. And they filmed. And I'm wearing, you know, I'm wearing a black shirt and I'm wearing a button up shirt and I'm wearing a hat. And I'm just, you can tell I'm trying to hide. I'm uncomfortable about the way I look. And it's weird because it's a really good memory. I got to see Adam's um, Star-Lord costume while it was being made. He took time with us to talk to us about it, to show us the costume, to show us the Walkman that he made. It was amazing. It was such an amazing time. It was a wake-up call for me because, um, so my grandfather died of a heart attack at 58 years old. His father, died of a heart attack at 58 years old. My great-great-grandfather and great-great-great-grandfather both died of a heart attack at 58 years old. My father died of a heart attack at 59 years old. Five generations of males in my father's line have never seen 60. I want to see it. I want to see 60. Knowing that is a part of my family history. I used to smoke. I quit smoking back in January of 2009. I don't, I don't drink that much. I probably have a drink once a month. If we're having a lot of fun, I might have two drinks in a month. Um, and so it's not just about the way I look. It's also about the fact that I'm, I wasn't healthy. I wasn't, I wasn't healthy. And I'm, uh, in order to get down to the ideal weight on paper, I probably have another 50 to go. But um, I don't know if I'll hit that, and right now, I'm not sure if it matters to me. Uh, I've crash dieted in the past, um, never from, I've never hit that, that number that I hit uh, the day I was on tested. I've never been that heavy before. Uh, and there certainly has never been video evidence of it as well that got shared all over the internet, you know? I mean, you guys have been asking me for the last couple of years, Peter, are you losing weight? Peter, are you, you know, you're doing something different? You look different, you look tan. Uh, and I think I usually respond with, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. I didn't want to get into it. Um, and so this video is just me kind of getting into it. So right after that, right after that video came out, I was like, that's it. I, I can't do this anymore. I'm gonna, I gotta, I gotta lose some weight. I would eat, I would eat a small breakfast, a small lunch, and then I'd eat like a, a microwave lean cuisine for dinner. So by February of 2020, I had lost 15 pounds. Uh, and then we all know what happened in 2020 and everybody had an enormous amount of stress in 2020. I'm not gonna pretend that I had more stress than anybody else. We did have a lot of things in our life that was stressful, and so we started the stress diet. <laughs> and the stress diet consists of us walking. That was it, I mean, that, that was literally it. Whenever we got on edge, whenever we got stressed out, we'd go for a walk, and we charted a walk around our neighborhood that was a, a two mile loop. And we were just trying to do it once a day. We we're just literally trying to get out and move once a day. We come home, I was thirsty, I drank a couple glasses of water, and that's it. That was it, that's all I did. The eating went right back to where it used to be. I was eating at the same level I used to be, um, 15 pounds lower. From 2020 to 2021, I didn't lose any weight, and I didn't gain any weight. The only thing that I did differently was walk. And then in 2021, I went, I should try to get down to uh, the next decade. So I was doing it, in my head, I was doing this a decade at a time. So I started at, uh, I started at 285. In 2020, I was down to 
260 and I allowed myself to bounce between 259 and 251 and I would just bounce inside that decade. So if I felt like I was getting too close to 259, I would eat good for a couple of days and then I, I just let myself bounce. I didn't even care. I just let myself bounce inside that decade. Uh, and then 2022 got pretty stressful for us and I lost 10 more pounds by adding another loop in my walk. So then I was walking four miles a day. The walks went from something that I had to do to help myself, to get myself mentally fit, to something that I wanted to do. Like, I wanted to get out and walk, and uh, we went from having, I went from doing two laps to doing three. So I was walking anywhere between five and seven miles a day. Um, and again, I maintained that weight for another year. And it felt good. It felt good, you know? I didn't feel like I was sucking wind every time I was doing something. I didn't feel out of shape when I was filming. You know, when I used to film and I would edit my video, there'd be this <sighs> behind all the camera work because I was having trouble keeping up, talking and doing something at the same time because I was completely out of shape because I didn't move. I sat, I sat at my computer and then I worked in the shop for a couple minutes and then I went back to the computer and sat. I was just sitting all the time. And so getting out and moving just helps. It just helped. It helped my brain. It helped my brain every time my brain was like, something bad is happening. I'd be like, oh, that's a signal. And I'd go out for a walk, you know. And if, uh, if Mrs. Brown was available, she'd come out with me. And uh, to, we went to an event in England in 2022. And we walked all over London. We walked around 16 miles a day in London and it was just it was so much fun it was so much fun and we just kind of got into that why not walk first you know that why not walk and then figure out why we can't walk rather than the other way around which is which is well we should just drive oh I guess we could walk if we had to <laughs> it we, we kind of turned it we kind of turn it around now, you know, we're kind of like, well, why don't we walk? Why wouldn't we just walk there? The place that we get sushi is a mile that way. Uh, the place that we get Mexican food is a mile that way. Um, the place that we get pasta is a mile and a half that direction. And walking there, eating whatever we wanted and walking home felt good. It just felt good. And again, I wasn't trying to lose gobs of weight. I wasn't trying to get rid of you know, wait as fast as possible. I just didn't want to feel bad all the time. I didn't want to look at myself in the mirror and feel bad. And, um, and I know I've still got weight to lose. I know it. I mean, I'm not pretending that this is the ideal weight, but for me right now, hitting that number, hitting 50 pounds lost just felt good. And I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad when I get up in the morning. I live in California and it's sunny here like nine months out of the year. And um, if you watch my videos before, you know I never had a tan because I never went outside. I just didn't go out, <laughs> but I'm going outside. So, you know, folks in the comments are asking where I went on vacation. I, I, just, I just got outside. <laughs> I just went outside. <laughs> for the most part, computing is a very sedentary hobby and job. It's what I do for a living. I'm allowed two 20 minute breaks and a lunch at work. Well, I never took the 20 minute breaks before. I never took them. I take my 20 minute breaks. I take a couple laps around, you know, where I work. I listen to audiobooks like crazy. And so now I've hit this mark. So what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. I'm going to let myself bounce around inside this decade for probably another year, but I'll feel good. So I'm not, I'm not going to do another crash diet. You know, if you see me in the video and you wanted to know what's changed, that's it. That's all that's changed. I had a wake up call and my wake up call was seeing myself unhappy. It's not about the size. It was that I saw myself and I knew that Peter was miserable. Show himself. He didn't want to be out with people. He was embarrassed about the way his clothes fit. I didn't like that feeling. And that's, over and above the health reasons. So yeah, so that's my story. I lost 50 pounds and it only took me four years. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. I think I just wanted to tell somebody. Um, yeah, thanks for listening.